what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm talking about several different topics in this video here again today we'll be talking about halloween ends we'll be talking about saw x we'll be talking about scream 6 and we'll be talking about nightmare on elm street so just to kick it off at halloween ends michael myers is going to die that is the update i will say just to kick it off and get to the point of what my whole spiel will be about here i'm convinced of this because too many pieces from jamie lee curtis now point in that direction the latest piece is her making it known why she returned to the series according to this sci-fi wire article that came out a couple days ago we all knew this i think and i think she mentioned it previously but she wasn't happy with Lori's exit from the series with resurrection she said that she's proud of halloween h2o but had agreed to do that movie if michael was going to be ended as well this was not possible we know due to certain stipulations in place so jamie said she continued working on h2o and will return for resurrection if the ending at least looked like she killed michael and they'd kill her at the start of the next movie that being resurrection because she didn't think Lori could live knowing she killed an innocent man and of course we know she also wanted a lot of money just to do that cheap disgusting opening from resurrection i mean the opening itself isn't poor it's just like the outcome the actual results of it and how Lori dies not Lori dying herself just how she dies that's really kind of a stain on that so with that in mind jamie of course has a chance to rewrite history here with halloween ends and so like that's why i'm convinced michael must be dying this might not sit well with some but there's nothing wrong with michael dying on screen there there, there just isn't the creative team involved with this trilogy definitely let her have some creative input i feel like but i don't think michael is dying simply because she wants that but because other parties want it too and it just works out because she wanted this 20 years ago now if you think the only reason michael is dying is because laurie strode had that much control over this film i mean i'm not gonna say it's not a possibility i just don't think jamie lee curtis was acting like that throughout the process of making these three movies i think that there was an agreement from multiple parties that they want to kill michael myers so we'll see if that's what indeed happens in halloween ends jumping into saw x saw x is reportedly going to start filming later this month in mexico and the story will be set in Mexico possibly as well. Now this is coming from Vink360, the Reddit user over on the Saw subreddit that folks again over there seem to trust with info due to their track record. Vink is saying that this movie will also be set in Mexico City according to what they've been told or what they've heard from multiple different individuals or people or sources that go to them and then they relate to us. We know Saw X is supposed to be arriving in theaters next October. It was announced and confirmed earlier this year and we don't have any casting news but this is expected to be a John Kramer centric film so another prequel in some fashion of course since we know John Kramer's character Jigsaw died in Saw 3. We know Kevin Grudert is back at the helm to direct this movie as well after he's had his hand in a couple of the previous entries. Now Vink did also reiterate some other plot details. John apparently, now this again is not confirmed, John will travel to Mexico in relation to something regarding his cancer. Now at one point Vink was saying this would be Europe so I guess they've changed it and now it's going to be Mexico. What that is I guess as far as like why they're traveling related to the cancer i guess we're not we're not going to find out until filming starts or later on when filming starts this month if that's true or of course we won't find out why he's in mexico until closer to the release when we start finding out other official details but we'll have to wait and see if all of this ends up being true because if the movie starts filming later this month that's another sign that again you should probably all start following the user vink 360 over on the saw subreddit and hopefully we'll get some more casting news and other official details as the film gets ready to go under or go into production in mexico my hope is that it's just good enough prequel that can close the door on john kramer because i believe the ip can exist without that character it just needs to be done the right way and a lot of people think spiral wasn't the right way i'm not one of them but i know there aren't many people who want to spiral too i wasn't the biggest fan of jigsaw so i hope this revisiting or bringing him back once again is something that is able to close the chapter on what he has done tobin bell that being what he's been able to do for this series jumping into scream six Scream 6 is allegedly going to have some early test screenings in November, according to a rumor that's now floating around out there. Shout out to you, Beyond the Mask, because I saw your video discussing this earlier today. I can say that I, too, was told something regarding the film should be ready by November, and I guess that's because of these alleged test screenings that will happen, if this is true. I was told that something would be happening or should be ready by November, so I guess this is related to test screenings. That's, again, assuming this rumor ends up being true. So similar to Halloween Ends and every other movie that does this, it's nothing more than just a way to get an idea of whether or not there's room for improvement before you fully release the movie to a more wider audience. 
obviously if this is true many of us will want to also know if nev ends up appearing as sydney i will say this don't be shocked if she doesn't if they actually go through and have test screenings don't be shocked if she doesn't because they what they would want to do is denounce any leakers because what multiple people do is they sign those NDAs and what do they do? They come out and they DM people and tell them things about the movie they saw from accounts that, of course, can't be traced back to the actual person that was in person at the screening because they don't know who belongs, who this account belongs to. So I wouldn't be shocked if you don't hear anything about a Nev scene if this test screening happens. Don't be surprised if it's just withheld until the month of March. But we'll see if this is true. Also, the Tony Revolori interview from Insider mentioned that Scream 6 had no release date, and that's not true. March 31st is still the release date until said otherwise. There are no delays at this time. Someone just made a human mistake when publishing that article. Last thing we're going to talk about is Nightmare on Elm Street. So Heather Langenkamp has interest in a Nightmare on Elm Street requel, it seems. She said in an interview with Entertainment Tonight or Entertainment Weekly, I believe, or Entertainment Tonight, that she'd like if Nancy could come back and fight Freddy again. Now, Heather returning, I see happening before Robert. Honestly, if Robert does return, I trust that they would make it work. But Heather then went on to express how she's been a fan of what has happened with Jamie Lee and her return to Halloween. So I get, I get why she would want to return as Nancy, and I'm all for it she has already died and returned once before so an actual requel that's not as meta as new nightmare would be great to see if it can be executed properly there's been no word though on anything really overly to get hopeful on when it relates to a new freddy krueger movie or just anything from the nightmare on elm street ip since a few years back when the craven estate was said to be taking pitches for a new show or a new film you know and i've seen some things out there related to a requel and several different people have a lot of clever unique ideas that people seem to be a fan of so i think a nightmare in elm street requel could work we kind of already got something like that with the new nightmare but again that was that was more meta overly meta than what they could do without that aspect involved like we got in new nightmare so i think a requel for nightmare in elm street could work heather langenkamp being back would be awesome obviously robert england being back as freddy, freddy krueger would be awesome and of course it's important to remember that heather langenkamp expressing interest in this doesn't mean it's going to happen it was just a nice little tidbit to hear from her uh, when she was out doing this interview but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video